hi everybody now i'll be showing you how to make another one like uh, this uh, pretty one like you know very pretty uh, just a five petal small one with the silver uh, sequins which i put it on this flower came out very pretty and like uh, i put a pearl in between but uh, i don't think you need a pearl for this one so and then with the, the white it uh, because when the sequence being big it will come up like this way so I put a pearl on this one but this uh, like you know and this like you know you can uh, use it for like you know like, uh, on this lace like you know you can put it like that's this and this uh, flowers like the small ones which uh, you can put it on this uh, lace and decorate the lace or uh, any fabric also like uh, I had a shirt like you know I had uh, this uh, shirt where I had put all these uh, I had decorated with the uh, sequins and this is an old one so some of them are kind of came off but I had used to decorate with the sequins and everything so you can do that too on clothes too so uh, it's easy and fast uh, again we'll be using this uh, silver sequins which are smaller than the those uh, this white one very small like you know you compare it like uh, so I think these are 10 and these are 6 I think so so this is smaller so we'll be doing in the silver now for now for this one I'll be showing you how to do it and how I did it so like you know so let me show you on this on paper because on this fabric you may not see it so what I did was uh, like you know this is a fabric so I put the circle this uh, what do you say so let me just put all these flowers away so you can see we'll be making this kind of this two flowers like you know and this one this all we did yesterday so so you just uh, like you know draw a circle uh, this one inch same that I'm using I I didn't want to cut another one then what I did was I did uh, I'm just doing roughly but like I did inside one circle and I did another one inside uh, now this third inside was done with this uh, flower this uh, sequence this but this being smaller than this I thought I might have to do more petals because this I did just if you want a bigger circle uh, you have to do more petals like you know but I just wanted to do five of them so I wanted to do small so then I made another one small circle inside so like that is the fourth one from the one inch I made a smaller circle and then what I did I just did a, a put a mi middle point and then I just did V like this and then I divided into five parts like you know so that's what I have done on this one I don't know if you can see like the circle and then I divided into five parts so now we will be making this uh, uh, flower over here this kind like you know so if you guys have any questions about this because this is a little small one so and I'm using pink thread uh, like you know so you can see so again you take this line like you know the same thing you'll be taking this line first one and then that's why I used a green to see if you can see it and then like it just came off so we'll have to like secure it one more time very easy and quickly to do and we will uh, we'll be using this uh, white color uh, like you know clear kind of uh, beads like 
so so after you do that you take uh, this uh, bead the raised side on the top and then like you did on the previous one but this we will be doing double like you know so you put that then you do take one uh, this uh, white bead and then you take another one which will be uh, the like you know you flipped it like you know the race uh, uh, will go on the bottom and then you do it like that way and then you need three of them the white ones like one two and this third one and then you put it in the middle like the same line in the middle like you know so and you pull it like so this is will be a one petal like now the second one so you put your uh, this is the second one here So pull that up then again you put this uh, like you can see this on the bottom then one bead and then this on the top like this so like you know see like this way and see it like and then three beads which will be because I measured it but if you're making bigger or something you will need according to that and if you want to put something like uh, in the middle uh, like, trying to take how many I took two and one more three so this will be like this way so like this uh, see I mean sequence bead then another this kind sequence and then three beads and then you put it in the okay put it in the middle and pull it like you know if you pull it you get like this that's your second one then now this is the third one here I don't know if you can see but uh, I can because these are small ones so pull it on the top same thing put this down then the take one and hmm, this like this and three two and this will be the third one and then again you put it in the middle very easy and it goes fast like you know uh, so see you got three petals and then put it on the fourth one here so same way You took a take this one, one bead, then this one, and then three beads, two, and three beads, then push it, and then do it like this way and then the last one like you know because we making five petals so same way take a sequence then a seed bead and then another sequence seed and then three seed beads one 
two, three, see, this way. And then put it in the middle. So, so you got a five petal sequence flower and then pull it so like you know all come together in the middle and then I pull it and then you secure it like this. pull it uh, because if you if you uh, don't pull it it will become loose so it's better you pull it and then put two three this and then you cut this thread and then you cut around see this I don't know if you guys can see but like yeah. So you just uh, and if you see any more what you say fray thing or just uh, take a, like a lighter and just uh, put it around like you know this so so then this is the flower like you know See, look at this flower. So this is how this will come. And if you make a bigger one, like you can make more petals too. So this is the other second kind. And this is the flower that I made. Uh, same thing, I used uh, this uh, like a shimmery lace. And I made a flower out of it. And it came out very pretty. Okay, now. And I'll be teaching you how to convert these all flowers into an appliques in the next week. Hopefully, I think so. So this is uh, so this is my second uh, sequence flower. Then I'll be showing you this another one, this full one, which is and this one, like you know. And I have some more, but just few. Then you can create like uh, many designs and everything. So, so thanks everybody for watching. Thank you very much. Bye.